and welcome to the show. Later we'll be joined by Becky James, who's going to show us a gorgeous project using the Forever Friends Craft Notes collection. But first of all, I know you've been working on the March magazine, so give us all the goss, tell us what's been going on. No problem. Well, one of the most exciting things about the March magazine is the introduction of the new gorgeous collection. This is a project for the surprise supplies feature in the scrapbooking section, and it's using the memory pockets that come from the gorgeous collection. Uh, and in the feature, I'm going to be showing you some different ways that you can use them on your projects. So, for example, we have a simple journaling block here oh, that just yeah. slides in and out. And I'm also going to show you a way where you can add some more photos to your project. Oh, wow. With a very sneaky sliding photo section that's hidden within the pocket. Fantastic. And that's in the March magazine. It is. With step by steps. Absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, so, should we bring on Becky? Yes. Yeah, Definitely. Becky, do you want to come, come on, on in? Come on, Becky. Lovely to be with you today. So what are you going to be showing us today? Well today what I'm going to show you is how to make the mechanism for this clever little project here. What you do is, it's, I'm calling it a flip flop book. Flip -flop and book. what you do is when you open it up, can you see you get these little leaves which just flip across so you can put messages, Fantastic. little Look. sort of images, photographs, that sort of thing. So I'm going to show you how we go about making the actual mechanism Fantastic. for that. Brilliant. Can't oh. wait. Well, Katie, if you leave me and Becky to it, and we'll, uh, we'll show everyone how to do it. Fantastic. Okay. So Becky, should we get started? Yes, let's. Right, what I'm going to do is to actually make the concertina um, mechanism in yeah. the middle of the card. I've already cut, now I'm using craft card because it's quite sturdy, and I've already cut two pieces of card um, that are going to be my front and back covers. You can use any size you want to, but I've started with three and three quarter inches by seven it's inches. It's quite a good size to start with, isn't it? I it think. is, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I have got a piece of, now I've got patterned uh, craft notes design stacks paper here so it's double sided, double -sided. and this piece is five inches by seven inches right and I'm going to divide the sections up into inch long strips so I've got my ruler here and a little pen I'm going to mark along the top and the bottom little inch sections and we're going to score down to do those to make those little strips and um, You'll notice I've also got one of the self-healing rubber mats underneath here because I find that the best surface to actually score on. So many crafters say that. Yeah, it's because when you when you're scoring, you want something that's slightly soft under Cushions, you. Yeah. yeah. So I've, uh, that's the reason I'm using that. So let's join up those lines uh, to score them. Right. So we've done that. And what I'm going to do is I like to just fold each one so that I've got a nice crease down there. So we'll just move that over along each one. And also it'll make it easier when I turn this over yeah. to actually see where my, where my lines are. Because we're going to work from the other side now. Okay. And what I'm going to do this time is actually make scores halfway between each of the centre three strips. Right, okay. So again, we'll just get my ruler. And each halfway between each of those is going to be half an inch. So I'm just going to mark half an inch between each of the, of the, sc the original scores. And as before, I'm just going to make the folds. Okay. There we go. So you end up with this concertina mechanism like this. Right, okay. So we're going to attach this in between, almost like the spine of a book, yeah. in between the two covers. So let's turn this over. I've got some glue runner here. And we're just going to put some glue along, along the outside um, sections. You're not going to put any glue on the internal bits yeah. of this. And I'll just take my front cover, line it up with that first score. There we go. And just do the same on the other side. So if I just fold that up, you're actually going to see that that is your main book Look, yeah. that we're, do, we're going to decorate. So I'm going to show you how you add the little bits in between. Okay. So if I just show you on here, this is the whole 
main part of the, the design really is that you've got these little sections that are going to flip across and you can have a look and this is where you can put those pictures and look, things like that. Look, we've been on. sent a question in from um, somebody who watches uh, our TV programme. So right. uh, Julie Buckingham from Dorset has asked you, um, I've seen Becky's gorgeous vintage projects and want to know the best way to distress my edges. Oh, right. Okay, then. Yeah, that's something I love doing. It's kind of part of my yeah, whole style. Yeah, you do do it a lot, don't you? It is. And actually, funny enough, I've got a spare piece of paper left here, so we can use that. Fantastic. Now, there are various ways to do that, um, but one of the best ways I find is to use a craft knife. Now, obviously, if you're doing something like this, you're going to be careful with it. But I get the edge of my paper, and what I do is I basically scrape... The, um, the edges very, very gently like this and it kind of frays the Frays paper it, for yeah. you. Now if when you're doing this you find that little bits of the knife cuts inwards, don't be don't be worried about that because it gives that whole distress. I do. Sometimes when I do it, it does tear a little bit, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. And if you do have that happen, just turn the yeah. turn it over yeah. a little bit so you get yeah. that whole idea of it being more vintage. And then if you want to ink it, the ink soaks nicely into that bit You there. just need to put the ink slightly on the yeah. edge and that is it. Otherwise, you could go a bit that's too much. That's exactly it. Um, so just do it slightly on the edge and that's, that's it. That's it. But that's, you know, it's a really, really lovely way to do it. Um, just that I will say as well, because in this range there are the um, self-adhesive fabric papers, you yes. can actually do it along the edge of those and you get like the little strands of thread as well, which that's is right. a lovely, beautiful yeah. effect too. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your question. Do make sure you keep sending them in. That's great. Right, so what I've done here is we're going to add those little flip sections. Yeah. Um, I've cut card of two different colours here just so that you can see which bits go in which direction. Yep. Um, now I've divided my section into three uh, so I'm going to have one, two lots going one way and one lot going the other way. Okay. So what I've got here that we're going to have two lots of the blue which will open out to when I've got it it'll open out towards the um, left right hand side. Okay. So all I do just get the edge and just put a little strip of glue down the edge and then if you look at your first concertina, all you do is you just pop your, your card there. So okay. that, can you see, so yep. that it, flip, but it flips over like that. And you just, you just... Um, you just add it to each one yes. then. Okay. So it's very, very easy to do that. Right, now then, we're going to have the ones that are going to open the other way. So what we're going to do is work the other in way the other around. direction. Okay. So we're going to stick them on the other side And you of the have peak. to be careful not to stick them too close, otherwise Absolutely. they're going to get caught up with each other yeah. as well. I mean, at the moment, I'm, just, I'm obviously showing you this how it works, but one way of doing that would be to do the top and bottom rows first and yep. then maybe put the middle row in the centre then. Okay. Yeah. And then if you want to, the next, the next thing you can do is obviously cover the inside of your book just yeah. to make it a little bit neater and add a few little bits of embellishments there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, um, just to show you how to finish it off really, is how to add the ribbon so that it's nicely hidden underneath. Right, brilliant. So I've got some strips of ribbon here that I've cut um, in coordinating. These are, this is the Anita's ribbons, but they're colours that work really nicely with the craft They fit notes. perfectly, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. They're really, really lovely. So, and here I've got some of the Stick It XL glue dots. And again, these are nice and strong. So what I do is take my strip of ribbon, I'm going to do two rows of blue and one of three. Just stick that on there and peel it back off. They are so easy to use. I love using these I in do. my crafting. I do. My room is full of the little um, the It's little just the little bits, plastic bits, The plastic isn't it? bits. My room, my floor in my room is they full of them. They usually stick to me. <laughs> That's because you're electric, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're sticking these on. I'm putting them around about the centre here. Um, and then we're going to decorate over the top of that. So it's just, it's just going to mean that that's nicely hidden. You know, you've got no sort of untidy or unkempt ends sticking out. And that's just how easy it is to make that card. So you get a lovely card, something a little bit extra special with a bit of a twist for the person who's going to receive it. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, Becky. Isn't she fab? Now, you can get hold of the step-by-steps. You have to pop over to the Creativity Club because they are exclusive to our club members only. But you can get hold of all the step-by-steps to have a go at making this. Now, if you do, do drop me an email at tv at docrafts.com because I want to see what you've been making. For now, happy crafting.